I love eggs. I love eggs poached, fried, scrambled, and I reckon if I opened your fridge door, the light would come on and there would be eggs. Now most of us would know the feeling of going to the supermarket to buy eggs and being spoilt for choice. One option, of course, is free range. John, they've got a lot of space here, haven't they? Well, they can go really as far as we can see. Uh, we run 1,500 per hectare. Down to that, there's a fence there which just divides the areas for a bit of rotation. So really, I think that to the end of the yard is probably 200 metres. So they've got a good range area. And it looks pretty green here. Have you planted something in here? What have you got? Majority lucin. We attempt to get lucin established so at least they've got something that's a bit of, bit of value, a bit of good tucker, which we want them to have. Shelter is very important and we plant 600 trees a year in the range area just so we can get it established. Aesthetically it looks great, so very important for protection. As we saw before, a plane flew over and they all dived under the trees and it just, this security, they're very much about being secure. So if they're too far away from somewhere that protects them, well they probably won't go there. So you could disencourage them, but we like to see them out and about. What's it like being a hen for a day here? Well, I guess they're pretty happy. They get let out every morning. They can sort of go as far as they like within the perimeters of the fenced area because we've got foxes, so we have to keep them in an area. I think they go in and out all day. They go and lay, they go and eat, and they sort of do whatever they like, scratch around, yeah, whatever they want to do. At night, they uh, work their way into the sheds, which is what they want to do because it's safe. It's they, they feel comfortable in there. The lights go off at half past eight at night, and then in the morning they'll be opened up and let out. Very routine, which is what they need to do, actually. They like routine. Ten years ago, Australian egg production looked quite different. Consumer preferences have changed, and egg farmers like John and his family have more demand for their eggs than ever before. They're, um, they're very maternal. Not scared of anything. Excuse me. The shed has everything they need. We have the nest boxes, the watering system, the feed system, the rams, which encourage them to get up onto the slats to lay the eggs, and perching, which they use very regularly. Above, we have some misters, which we have to have for our hot summers. Well, you're trying to keep it around 30. It gets higher at times, but the birds adapt, but we just we just have to keep them cool. So does your free range bring with it additional labour requirements? Oh, it's very labour intensive and there's no, no way around it. Our sheds are very spread out. We have to collect eggs from every shed twice a day. We have to feed birds, mix our, all our own feed. We're driving kilometres and kilometres every day. So look, that's just time, time which has to happen. John, that's warm. Yeah, just been laid. So the chickens are just there yes, and they're chicken. coming through there? Yeah, they've just laid in the nest box and uh, the belt runs the length of the shed and the eggs will quietly come through. And from here, what happens then? Well, they're all packed into these trays, hand packed, and then go into the grading room and ready for grading. Are there biosecurity risks associated with it? Yeah, definitely. Biosecurity, we have to be very aware of where we are, what's in our surrounds, what's happening on other people's properties. Free range, we've got to have a little bit more scope because they are ranging, but as long as they're ranging in probably a controlled manner, I think that's very important. And do you love what you do? It's rewarding because you're producing a product that you know, as I always say to the people in the grading room, as soon as they close that lid on that box, the next time that'll be opened is a consumer cooking their breakfast or eating. So that's, that's pretty powerful. So you've got to make sure that they're happy when they open it.